Welcome back, everyone, to the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012 in Los Angeles at the L.A. Center Studios, uh, February 11th, 2012. And we are hanging out here with Richard Davis and Sarah Newton, who are here with the California... <laughs> See, things blowing, blowing away here as we speak. But uh, I'll, I'll let you guys tell them about the initiative. You're working on an initiative here in California to legalize marijuana. That's right. We're working on the California Cannabis Hemp and Health Initiative. And it is an, an initiative in California to legalize hemp and cannabis. Um, and it would also release nonviolent marijuana felons from prison right now. That's a real good point, too, because, you know, we we decriminalize in some states or we'll legalize. We talk about that. And, and it, wouldn't it suck to be in jail, sitting there and realizing that everyone else is, that is out of jail isn't getting busted for what you're doing time for? So true. You know, not to mention that some people, maybe in your younger days, you're kind of dumb, you fuck up, you get a couple stupid sure. marks on you, and then your third strike happens to be something for cannabis. Yeah. Now you can be in prison for 30 years for cannabis. So yeah. this would kind of release you from that, unless you, like, killed people before or something. You if, know. If, you committed a, <laughs> if you committed a real crime, we yes. might keep you in jail. Yeah, but pretty if it's much. for weed, we'll let you go. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to legalize, we're going to release prisoners. Tell them more about it. Um, well, the hemp aspect is really important, and I'll let Richard touch up on this because he's like the Kemp, hemp king. Okay, Richard. Yeah, uh, Richard Davis here. Yeah, I'm the curator of the USA Hemp Museum. The hemp is worth billions of dollars to the state of California. This is this is a jobs program like none other. And Jack Hare, this is Jack Hare's initiative. He's he circulated it many times in the past. It never got on the ballot. This is the time, people. We need your help. We need your signature, and we need it now. The rest of the world's going to hemp, and we're getting way left behind. We got plastics coming out of Germany and fuel around the world made out of plants. How, how big of hemp, an industry is it in some of these other countries? I mean, how many jobs? How much money? Well, Canada's big. Yeah. Canada's selling us food. I eat Canadian hemp every day because <laughs> the American farmer can't grow it. Yeah. You know, that's where it is. So this is worth billions to the state of California. They they have on the on the ballot that it's worth hundreds of millions just to let people out of jail. Right. Well, it's hundreds of billions that we can make fuel and paper and fiber out of it for the state of California. Absolutely. I think uh, something else that's really important right now is um, with this whole explosion with Monsanto and yeah, the yes. food industry. Um, I think this hemp ties in because in Canada, all of their food products, they have hemp seed in it. Opposed to America, we have corn and soy fillers and these right. genetically modified, you know, horrible things that just bloat us and, you know, aren't good for us at all. Yeah, the, the, there's so much that can be done, and it's not. Yeah. I think of, when I think of the hemp issue, I don't even necessarily. I mean, I do think, of, of course, the he the health of our bodies, yeah. but the health of our planet. I mean, you yeah. know, just taking carbon dioxide out of the air, revitalizing the soil. There's, I mean, I'm sure Richard could tell us all of that stuff too. I mean, it's just so necessary for the survival of not just the humans but the planet they live on. Absolutely, we have the answer to global warming with hemp. If we just if we grew it all over the United States, carbon, plants pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. It's the answer to global warming. We don't need any clean coal or anything else. We can <laughs> fuel the United States on him. I'm sorry, I always laugh when I hear those two terms together, yeah. clean <laughs> and coal. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Uh, all right, so Sarah, uh, the, the hemp initiative here, I always get, I, I never try to say it because I always get it backwards. California, Cannabis, cannabis, hemp, and health. Hemp and health. C-C-H-H-I. Uh, it's the health part that I always forget. Cannabis, health. hemp, and health initiative. That's an important part. I know. <laughs> well, health may not be my strong suit. Uh, hey. <laughs> but but healthier than I would have been being the beer-drinking uh, college kid I used to be. Yeah. Let's, say, let's put that for sure. But uh, tell people how they can get involved as far as you know, websites, contact numbers, email. Okay. Well, cchi2012.org has all the information. It has my email on there. If you're in Southern California, you can contact me, and I'll set you up with a little starter kit to where you can start collecting signatures. Um, you know, you can donate money on the site. We need, you know, we need to be hiring professional signature collectors and, and getting the funds to actually get this out there because it's grassroots. You know, we don't have millionaires backing us up. This is just you know, by the people, for the people. Yeah, and, and that's, it's it's disturbing to me too when I look at the, you know, since Prop 215 that all of the initiatives that, uh, you know, make the ballot with the exception of Prop 19, all of them are backed by like the same two or three billionaires. And there's so many of us out there and it would make such a statement for us to finally pass one of our bills, something that 
you know, I'm going to call myself a poor person, uh, would like to see passed rather than something a billionaire would like to see passed. Wouldn't you like that? Definitely. And I think that it's going to um, inspire the rest of the country to follow suit. So CCHHI2012. Dot org. Dot org. CCHHI2012. Uh -huh. Check that out. I did it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Uh, thank you, Sarah Newton and Richard Davis, for joining us here. And uh, we'll get this clip for you on YouTube and, and let everyone know what's going on. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> Richard, pleasure. And I, and I have to assume all these fine clothes are hemp, right? What, a hemp jacket, yeah. hemp hat? <laughs> ah. And that's going to last forever. Yeah. I bet those are... Canadian companies making a... hemp hats. Yeah. He's a hemp pimp. Hemp pimp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Radical Russ here at the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll be back with uh, more coverage here uh, in just a little bit. Stay tuned.